One of the reasons that many people fall off most conventional diets is they really miss chocolate. Well, on the S Factor diet, you don't have to do without chocolate. These are my very special chocolate truffles made with avocado. Honestly, give them a try, they're delicious. Now you need two avocados, now you need them to be really, really ripe. Now the, the reason that I'm using avocados in these truffles is that because they're full of really good fat, not only do they have a lovely silky texture, but they feed your brain, so they make you happy. So, the one thing people get worried about when I say I'm making um, truffles and avocados is that they're going to be green. Fortunately not, because the cocoa covers that colour really well. Once I put all of that in my food processor, the next ingredient is going to be coconut oil. It is a coconut fat, but again, it's a really good fat. So you don't need to worry too much about this amount of fat. Because it's solid at room temperature, it's what will make the um, truffles hold together. Okay, next ingredient we're going to do is obviously cocoa. Now we know that cocoa is full of really healthy antioxidants, so it can be a really healthy thing for you. Now the next thing I'm going to use is this. This is agave nectar. It looks a bit like syrup, as you'll see, but it's actually a natural alternative to things like honey and sugar, and it's made from a cactus. Again, that doesn't sound very nice, does it? But actually it tastes really nice. The benefit of using agave as opposed to uh, honey or, or syrup is that it doesn't uh, raise the blood sugar. So you won't get that thing where you get a great high from eating sweets and half an hour later you want to eat more of them. This will keep you much more stable and that will help with the weight loss. So we're going to do three tablespoons. One, two. Well, obviously cocoa is very bitter so you need something definitely to be able to take that bitterness away. And as with all things with chocolate, they're always a little better with a little bit of salt. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of salt in there, sea salt. Put the top on, and that's kind of it, really. All you've got to do is whiz it until it's smooth. As you can see, I did promise they wouldn't be kind of Shrek green, and they're not. The cocoa does a really good job of disguising the colour of the avocado. Now, because we're going to make truffles, we need to chill this mixture first. So we're going to put it in this bowl. Doesn't that look chocolatey? Anybody who loves chocolate must love this. I mean, I sometimes, when I'm being a bit wicked, invite people round for dinner and serve these and then say, well, guess what's in them? And almost nobody ever guesses avocado. So all you want to do now, cover it with a bit of cling wrap. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge. And you want to chill it in the fridge, well, for certainly a couple of hours. So this truffle mixture has been in the fridge a couple of hours now. And that gives it enough time. As you can see, it's kind of firmed up, which is what you need for the truffles. So we take a teaspoon. And we're just going to have teaspoons of the mixture, which will drop onto the cocoa. I mean, I don't roll them perfectly because I quite like that slightly handmade look to them. And then we just keep going, really, a spoonful at a time. The, one of the reasons we eat sweet things is they raise a hormone called serotonin in the brain, and that makes us feel happy. And unfortunately, we girls um, are genetically programmed to make less serotonin than men do. So we're born to be grumpy. And one of the things we do is we medicate that by eating sweets and chocolate because they raise that happy hormone, serotonin in the brain, and make us feel happier. And the reason that my book is called The S Factor is S for serotonin, because having seen a lot of clients over the years trying to lose weight, what I would say is one of the main reasons is they're eating things they shouldn't be, because they're trying to raise that serotonin in their brain, and that means they're gaining weight. But if you eat something like these chocolates, you raise the serotonin, but you still keep yourself really nice and healthy. So these are my chocolate and avocado truffles. If you've enjoyed this recipe, there are details about this one as well as 70 other recipes in the book. Why not buy it here?